So, yes you do. Okay. And so now, what we're going to do is, the Eldar, being the Eldar they are, going to first move this squadron. Now, first thing I'm going to do is reload ordnance. This is where I try to get back all those missiles I just fired. And looking at it, it seems my highest leadership is a 9 on the entire squadron, so as long as I roll under 9, I'm good. I rolled under 9, and so I have all my ordnance back. And now they're going to turn around. Do, 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 do. And fly forward. Again, sun edge is over here, so 30 centimeters is their maximum distance. And that is right there. Now, in case people are wondering, the reason why I'm touching base to base is when you have missiles, only ships that are base that are touching in base contact can combine their missiles together. So I do this this way, I guarantee all my missiles can be put in one wave to make that giant 12 wave instead of tiny little waves. Now the battleship is going to reload ordnance. See, he does not. Now what this means is I can't make any more special orders for the rest of the turn. If I bought, if I had enough points to buy a reroll, I could probably reroll that. But we win, we we live and we learn. So he's going to turn around. Sun edge is still on him. Twenty five centimeters. Okay. Now, the ship is going to go 25 All righty. Now, we're going to fire the ordnance. Okay. This guy's, they're going to first see if their weapon batteries are in range. They have a range of 30. And they are just out of range for attacking the ships. So they're just going to launch some ordnance of missiles. Okay. Giant wave going after that battleship. Okay, and that is that for them. This guy, he's gonna fire his pulsar lances, which are of a range of 45. Because he's a battleship, and he can fire at the battleship. The, let's see, the battleship is roughly 45 centimeters away. These guys are closer, so to fire at the battleship, I have to roll a leadership check to make sure I can actually shoot at the battleship since it's not the closest target right now. I just make it so I can fire at the battleship with my lances. He is in my... He is in my front arc, so I get to fire my all of my lances at him, which is a total of four. One, two, three, four. Hey, what's the armor value? Okay. Okay, sorry about that technical difficulty. Now I'm firing all four of my lances at his battleship. Now these lances need a four or higher to hit. I sense impending doom. Okay, one lance hit, which means it gets to roll again to a max of three hits I can get on one dice roll. Uh, go. It was a one, so one hit, which is go straight to his shields. Yep. And where's our blast markers? Since the since I hit one ship with it, he puts one blast marker in the general direction that the ship was fired at. Now he's also going to fire his weapon batteries, which are also in range. And again, he has to roll a leadership check to um, fire at the ship. He makes it, and now he ch we check on our battle chart what we're going to do. He's got a total of eight. Eldar ships always count every ship as closing. It's a capital ship. We get one shift over for a blast marker in the way. 
and another shift over for being more than 30 centimeters away. So I get a total of three dice. Front armor is six, so I need a six to hit him. Okay, no shots were hit. No shots made it in, so no damage is dealt. And that is it for my and for my um move my shooting phase, so on to my ordnance phase, where these Eldar torpedoes move their 30 centimeters from the back ship, which lands them right in the nebula, the dust cloud again. And we roll a D6. On a six they go away. They are fine. And now the Eldar get their move, their extra move. Their cheaty Eldar. Eldar tricks. <laughs> Flip around and fly away. Yes, I should be a little bit more creative with this, but right now I'm just biding time, folks. So I apologize for the very rinse and repeat style of gameplay I'm doing right now. But whatever works, especially in this kind of field. And when he gets close to me, you'll find out why I do this. Eldar do not do well in close quarters combat. Strategy tip number one for you. When fighting Eldar, get in as close as possible. So, if you're not Marines, Orcs, or Necrons, you don't want to be in close anyway. Well, it's your general. weapon batteries will rip anything apart. Once you get Eldar, get ripped to pieces when you get in close quarters combat with them. Okay. There's no blast... Well, there is a blast marker on the field, but I can't remove that because it's touching a ship. And so, that is the end of, ta of um, this turn. Until next time, this is Helios Raven, signing off. <laughs>